Hello, and welcome to Team GDJ. My name is Joshua, and I want you all to know if you see nice, vibrant colors, like actual colors and not just like Game Boy colors, the reason being is I figured out to stand in front of the Pokemon site is because I figured out how to make your uh, uh, colors on the emulator look a lot nicer but let's go ahead and get that party update out of the way because I did some grinding my highest level Pokemon sludge who uh, who's just the same except for the uh, except for the level he has Poison Gas, Pound, Sludge, and Disable. Up next, we have K9 at level 30 with Bite, Ember, Faint Attack, and Smog. Learning only one new move, Faint Attack. Up next, we got Last of the Lapras with Rock Smash, Body Slam, Sing, and Surf. I think that will be her final move set. But up next, we have Bloom the Bayleaf holding the Miracle Seed with the moves Cut, Growl, Razor Leaf, and Reflect. That will definitely not be hers. I want to say hers, but it's a dude. God dang it. Up next, we got Flint the Charmeleon with the moves Scratch, Rage, Ember, and Smokescreen. And our newest Pokemon, Raiden the Electabuzz with Quick Attack, Swift, Thunder Punch and Light Screen. That is a great move set right there, but that will surely not be his last move set because Electabuzz is amazing. And we did evolve him off screen, and I feel bad about that, but I do most of our uh, uh, things off screen. So I smashed these earlier, and some of them give you a Pokemon. That one didn't. Oh my god, I feel like an idiot. I was scratching my nose, which I'm doing again. But, uh, I bumped my, uh, microphone. And here we get a blossom from that rock. Smashing those rocks will give you a, uh, Pokemon. I was thinking I'd grind them up to, like, level 40 or level 36, but I just felt like that was crazy. But we are going to use Lassie to surf, and we're going to get our first water battle. But that is our surfing sprite. It's just a little Lapras. And we got Sand Shrew. Um, I accidentally used the wrong move. But let's hope this sludge hits. It didn't. But that sludge did, which means this Sand Shrew isn't going to go down too fast. Because I don't know why. Because this Sand Shrew is just a jerk. And he doesn't want to faint. Uh, Magneton, no. You want to stay in against Magneton. Because Magnet... What? It doesn't affect Magneton. Well then, you know what? I mean, if it doesn't affect Mag Ma Magneton, I think we should just all lay down and let Magneton catch us instead of us catching Magneton. No, I'm going to defeat you with K9. God. Let's see what Pokemon we get in the water. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, actually. Um, I released the Legendary Beast, and I thought that Entei just appeared in the water somehow. But it's, uh, level 16 Entei. Um, you know what? Just for the lols. Wow. Just for the laws, I'm going to use a few more Pohi balls. Oh, what if I catch this? Oh, I'm not. I'm only going to use one more Pokeball. Don't worry, I'm not going to sit here and try to catch this Entei. Oh, I almost had it too. No, I'm not going to. I, I... Thank you. Should have bought repels. Uh, apparently the tables have turned. That's sexualized.
The people at Game Freak, man. Sorry. I like candy in my mouth. It's amazing. Way too sexualized. Um, but, we're gonna fight another one. Because I want the training. And I'm glad I'm getting your reaction and mine. Oh no. Sludge! With that nice and powerful 12 HP. What are we ever gonna do? We're gonna use some of the super potions that we bought. off screen too. I had like thir over 1300, no it was a lot more than 1300. I had a lot of money so I just uh, I just decided you know what I'm gonna buy uh, stuff off screen. Gonna make everybody mad and do stuff off screen. But we're gonna fight this guy in a speedo. I say he shouldn't wear a speedo but He's that way in every game. God. So, I normally don't like uh, Seer Mist, but there is one Seer Mist that I cannot get enough of. It's Seer Mist Cranberry Splash. Um, I wouldn't recommend drinking it because it stains your teeth red, but it's so delicious because it's a lemon-lime and cranberry flavored soda. It's lemon lime, but it also has cranberry. So it's amazing. It's just really good. I don't know what else to say about it besides it's amazing. It's got to be in my top five favorite drinks. And I won't do crap to this golem with sludge. But sludge is a monster. Whatever sludge can't do. Lassie can. They're just like monsters. And then Raiden just steps in here and he's all like, Hey man. Rawr. But hey man. Let's uh, let's get it on. Let's keep going. No, I want to fight you. I, I wouldn't recommend fighting people in real life. Because, you know, fighting people in real life uh, isn't too good. They'll hurt you. But, hey, um, I guess I'm kind of a hypocrite because I take karate to learn self-defense and fighting and all that crap, but most of the people that watch this aren't really random people. Some of you are. Some of you, I have no idea who you are in real life. But others, I'm just like, hey, I don't know who you are, but I would love to meet you at, like, PAX or something, but I don't go to PAX. Or VidCon. Or, uh, E3. Hmm. No. I want to stay out against this Skarmory. Because, yeah. MLG Pro. Huh. Apparently, poison type attacks don't do anything against steel types. So we're just gonna send in Lassie. Peck. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Charlie. Charlie bit my finger. My goodness. I wonder how old those kids are now. Did I see my favorite plates? Oh my god, I, I think I did. I think I'm in the World Islands. 
set up Uh, by the way, one time in one of these videos, I sang a song, and I told you all to go buy it, so I'm going to make that a video thing now. It's going to be called Song Recommendation of the Day. Uh, today's Song Recommendation of the Day will be uh, Maroon 5 uh, Maps. I forgot its name for a minute. But it's okay, because it's maps. Go listen to it. It's amazing. I'm eating more candy. My goodness, I'm fat. Not. Nah. Alright. Let's fight, man. Let's fight. I'm going to put the Mike and Ikes over here so I stop eating them. Because, tell me, whenever you uh, have something like a drink and like it's a huge drink and it's too big to fit in your cup holder and it's just like sitting there on your lap, don't you feel like compelled to uh, drink it because you're like holding on to it so that it doesn't fall over? Aren't you just, like, compelled to drink it? Because that's what I'm doing with this seer mist right now. By the way, none of these are sponsors. I just really like them. Well, not really seer mist. In my game again. God. Um, I might have to do a completely randomized thing. In fact, um, I record these ahead of time, but this is going up tomorrow. Tomorrow is my birthday, and I'm going to be starting a new series. It's going to be weekly, or whenever I feel like it, daily. No, no, I really want you, Ammonite. I, I'm probably not even going to use you. Because Sludge was going to be the Pokemon I was going to get rid of, but... I didn't do that. You know what, if I'm not even going to get rid... Use you, then why am I trying to get you? Oh, oh, it's right there! It's right there! Porygon, you suck! Get out of my way, Porygon! Because it's right here! Oh, yes! I've made it, guys. I hear something in the background. That's why I was silent there. And there's a train! And I'm yelling over, but you guys can't hear it. So I'm just yelling. Beads. Oh, I'm supposed to, uh... No, that's not the medicine guy. Oh, wait. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Um. Um, what? Oh wait, I know where you get fly. I have to defeat Chuck, and then I get fly. From his wife over here? Chuck the gym leader spars with his fighting Pokemon. No, this is his wife, because you crossed the sea to get here? That must have been hard. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. But he can't use fly without this 
city's gym badge. If you beat the gym leader here, come see me. I'll have a nice gift for you, which is the HM fly, which I'll want it. Which I'll want to teach Flint, but he won't have wings yet. So I'll teach it to blo to I wanna call it blossom, but it's bloom. Alright. I'll fight every single last one of you so that I level up. Um maybe. Oh, thrash. Ooh, thrash. Ooh, baby, a triple! What? <laughs> Cut! Emo. Don't be emo, guys. Emo is a very, very bad thing because you're always sad. And you cut yourself and make yourself bleed. And that's painful. It, it's really f fiery. Unlike Taco Bell's fiery food. Which isn't even that hot. All it is is it's, uh, it's fiery coming out. I'm starting to sense a pattern here. We got a Gyarados. Now we have a Feraligator. I'm sensing a pattern. A pattern that I need to heal. Feraligator looks menacing in this game. Like, my god, look at it. It's so scary. Like, my goodness, man. Calm down. I'm not gonna say hi. Okay? Just like he's that guy. Well, uh... Charmeleon... Flint didn't get any, uh... Man. Call... I can't call, uh, Rocks his right name. I can't call Flint Flint and I can't call uh Bloom her her right gender or her right name his right gender or his right name oh you need to have strength here well I think that's kind of bull crap because I don't know where to get strength Help me, everyone. How do we one-hit kill a swine up, but we don't one-hit kill a blossom? How do we get strength? Maybe somebody in Olivine gives it to you, but I'm not in Olivine. This is bull. God dang it. Well, I have to look that up. But I can't defeat the gym now, so let's do the lighthouse event. I really don't want to surf all the way across that ocean. Wait! Huh? <sighs> what is this sorcery? What is this sorcery? I have to swim all the way, or surf all the way across the ocean without any repels. I'm gonna, when I get back, I'm gonna buy some repels. 
Well, guys, I learned a new trick. Stay next to the rocks, and you'll be fine, and you'll get to... Level 17, Ente, go away. Nobody wants you here. We'll have to do the lighthouse event. And if you guys don't know what that is... Gonna have to buy a couple escape ropes as well. Uh, where are... They only have super repels. I only want like... Three. They don't have... Wait. I can sell some stuff. You'll only buy a berry for five dollars. I think that's kind of bull. But the lighthouse is a pretty great place to train, so... We can do the lighthouse event. Which I don't think is very good, but... It is very easy. I just don't think it's good. It's not that I don't like the lighthouse event, or I don't think it's easy enough for people. I just personally don't enjoy doing it. But, as I said, great place to train. Great place for Flint to get up in levels. Or in A level. Or in two levels. Cha! Charmander! I don't know if that sounded anything like a Charmander. But hey. Char! Charmeleon! I know what that sounds like. I don't think that... None of my, um... None of my uh, voices for Pokemon actually sound like what they sound like to me. And I'll explain uh, why uh, what you hear, your voice, doesn't sound anything like your voice. The reason being is your, uh, your ear is so close to your, uh, your throat and your vocal cords that there's a little vibration that you feel. And that makes it so that what you hear is a lot deeper than what your voice actually sounds like. So when I go to record, I sound normal. But when I watch the video over, I sound like a completely different person to me. But we're about seven minutes to go. And we haven't even done the entire Lighthouse event. We're just... uh We're just messing around. Now I'm thinking of another song. But I can't make a ring recommend recommendation for it. <sighs> because yeah. After this I have to uh just start recording again. Because, uh, that's bull crap. Oh, God, I'm burping. It's just like, tastes like Mike and Ike's and cranberry sear mist. I love that taste, it's my favorite taste. Which is why I choose to taste it. I don't want to battle you. I do not wish to battle you. You said I wish to do something. I'm guessing it's I wish to battle you. But I don't wish to battle you. I don't want to battle you. So why do I have to battle you? It's because that's how the game works. But at least I have... I really hate fighting types. I mean, fighting types are one of my favorite Pokemon, but I really hate them in the sense that fire type Pokemon, one of the most powerful type of Pokemon in the game, is uh can't do crap against it and fighting types can just get away with doing whatever against it. I think fire should 
be a very dominant uh, type because fire spreads very easily. Very dominant type. We gotta search the entire premise. And we have a Lapras. Not standing against that. What was that? Why did I go out into Lapras and not Bloom? Eh, who cares? Let's see whose Lapras is better. I think mine's better. No, his is definitely way better. Oh my god, how did I get out of that battle with that Lapras? My goodness. It was like one of the best Lapras ever. Like, man, it was doing so little HP and I was doing so much. Oh my goodness. Ow. I have a bruise on my tongue somehow. And it hurts. Found TM-34, guys. But we're battling everyone, of course. I like how a uh, bird tamer, or whatever, is battling with a jinx. Ice types are weak against fire types, so why didn't I just use ember? Speaking of ice types and having this Eevee sent out, I love Glaceon. I don't know if I've expressed to you how much I love Glaceon. Out of all the Pokemon in the Pokemon universe, Glaceon and... Uh, Lugia are having a all-out brawl for the number one spot in my favorite Pokemon list. Oh my god. It's so amazing. I got a rare candy. Yay. I have a question for all of you. And not just for all of you, but for the game. Um, I saw what I'm supposed to do. And it doesn't make sense. Why am I in my pack? I meant to go to Pokemon. Oh boy. Can I heal Flint? I just healed the uh, Lassie. Oh boy. Let's make sure to heal Flint this time. I like how it uses Twister, one of the weakest dragon type moves ever. Well, it's not always the weakest dragon type move. It's Sometimes it can be a really good dragon type move. But I honestly cannot stand any longer of this. And by that I mean the episode is almost over. I don't like you. Stop calling me. So how am I supposed to get through here? Nope. Am I just supposed to, like, go through here? Oh, nice. Huh. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. It, it worked out. 
And apparently I am done for this episode. But I'm g actually not. I'm going to make my way up to the top. You know, after I grab that rare candy, I'm guessing, or I want it to be, and fight this trainer. Because, you know, this trainer engaged in a battle with me, and I cannot go away. Because he is a little jerk. You see, this this sprite isn't really as menacing as its uh, lower predecessor, um... Machoke, Machoke Sprite, but, you know, it, they're sprites, they're not as awesome as the models in X and Y, I mean, sure, this might be old school sprites and stuff, and it's awesome, but look at the models in X and Y, so perfect, and any Pokemon they want to make, doesn't have to be its own little uh, thing like its own little just separate thing but it can be whatever it wants to be they said I could be anything I became a burrito but I'm here with the uh, sixth gym leader Jasmine who is right next to an Ampharos so I'm going to leave it here for the next episode, which I'm about to record right now. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please remember to hit like, favorite, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next episode, which, by the way, I'm about to get ready to record. And goodbye.